Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with SOF4 Lewis structure or OSF4 you can write it either ways and uh, for determining its Lewis structure we'll first look at the total number of valence electrons over here so we have one oxygen atom which has six valence electrons we have sulfur atom which has six valence electrons again and we have fluorine atoms which has seven valence electrons each so in total we have 40 valence electrons for this molecule now the arrangement of this atom of so now the arrangement of this molecule would be something like this sulfur atom will take the central position all the fluorine atoms will be arranged around the sulfur atom like this and even oxygen atom will be placed on the top of the sulfur atom to show bonds between these atoms we are going to place a pair of electron and doing that we will be using up 10 out of 40 valence electrons and we are still left with 30 more here if you look at this Lewis structure each fluorine and oxygen atom requires six more valence electrons to have a complete octet. Six into five, we need 30 valence electrons to have complete octets for all these atoms. And here, as we are left with 30 more valence electrons, we are going to place six valence electrons around each atom besides the sulfur atom. Now, you might wonder that this is the proper and relevant Lewis structure for SO, uh, SOF4 because we have used up all valence electrons and it looks fine. But let's not forget that sulfur atom can actually accommodate more than uh, 8 valence electrons in its outer shell. And that is the reason it already has 10 valence electrons in its outer shell. So now if we calculate the charges for sulfur and oxygen atom over here, you will come across a charge of plus 1 for sulfur atom and minus 1 for oxygen atom in this arrangement. So whenever we are looking at the Lewis structures, we try and offer the structures in which the formal charges are zero for all the atoms. And we can attain this by just shifting a pair of electron from the oxygen atom in between the oxygen and sulfur atom. So by shifting this pair of electron, there will be a double bond form between the sulfur and oxygen atom. But that is fine because that results in a formal charge of zero for both sulfur and oxygen atom. And now if you calculate the formal charges of all the atoms in this molecule, you will come across a formal charge of zero for all these atoms. And hence, this is the Lewis structure for SOF4 or OSF4. And I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.